Too frequently, we have to plow through K-dramas where the male lead does all the heavy lifting, while his female counterpart is just there to be pretty and for him to save. It is undeniable that a badass and eye-candy male lead is attractive in any drama genre. Nonetheless, times have changed, and it's about time the female lead got actual decent writing. So today, let's look into female characters that got the development they deserve, and don't have to be the damsel in distress just for the male lead to look cool. Number 1. Sung Duk Im – The Red Sleeve The Red Sleeve recorded an all-time high rating for its heartfelt love story, and basically saved NBC from the ruins. And of course, while the male lead, aka Crown Prince Yi San, was a great character, we can't forget about our female lead Sung Duk Im. At first glance, Duk Im is just your ordinary girl. She is caring, disciplined, and hardworking. A court lady in the palace, Duk Im's sole purpose is to serve the Crown Prince who, ironically, has been on her nerves since the start. <laughs> Though reserved at first, we learn to love how she isn't afraid to speak up, act her lively self, and talk back to people. She also puts herself first above all, even in love, refusing yi -san's advances at first to pursue her true and free dream. <laughs> With all these traits, Duk Im has inevitably got into multiple troubles. But she's not the type to sit still nor wait for people to rescue her. She knows to enlist help when needed, and knows when to fight for her own. She even saved the male lead more than once, showing her wits and capability. Neither a fighter nor a scholar, and yet Duk Im had made full use of whatever she has, swaying people in her favor left and right. Her genuity, loyalty, and perhaps even ingenuity keeps everyone's hopes up even during the darkest days. All of these charms had Yi San falling for his unknown court lady, creating great chemistry and a convincing romance. Sung Duk Im is truly the North Star of everyone. Number 2. Go A Shin, Mr. Sunshine. Contrary to Duk Im, A Shin is used to fighting with both her brain and brawn, having been an educated noble lady who can wield a gun against the worst enemies. Inheriting her parents' legacy as freedom fighters? Eshin leads a double life as a noblewoman slash sniper, whose aim is to battle against colonizers and bring justice to her city. Most awe-inspiring of all, this female lead sees the raging war and chooses this path on her own, leaving behind all her wealth, comfort, and privileges. <laughs> Go Eshin is also the definition of versatility, when she takes off the noble cloak and puts on a strong and determined demeanor as a sniper. Put the rifle in her hand and you know it's business, as she's someone wholeheartedly fearless, standing tall and unfaltering in front of all enemies. Yet she knows how to be gentle and win people's hearts, standing with the people and is willing to protect them at all cost. Go Eshin feels like a token of hope, an ideal, a leader, someone of clear ambition who has the ability to achieve it. And of course, we cannot talk about Go Eishin without her heart-rendering love story with Choi Eugene. Knowing their love is ill-fated because of their vastly different standings, they still fall for each other deeply, helping each other to improve and learning the best from each other. A little analogy for those who watch the series here. Whether the H stands for handshake or hug, they all lead to the L, love. love. Honestly, I often feel annoyed when literally every guy in a series falls for the female lead out of nowhere. But this trend didn't feel wrong at all in Mr. Sunshine, for Aishin is just that great of a woman, and her charisma is just insane. Number 3. Go Heiri, Vagabond Well, we already got the fun, charismatic lead and the more serious girl boss lead. So for this entry, let's check out Go Jeri, the female protagonist of action drama Vagabond, who has got the best of both worlds. For starters, Go Hei-ri is a national intelligence agent, capable of dreadful business. She can fire a gun with jaw-dropping precision, knock out some big hunks of men, all while oozing sexiness like a true femme fatale. Often dismissed and underrated in her field, yet Go Hei-ri is ready to turn against her authority the moment she senses something suspicious. She's also willing to get people fooled by her pretty face, 
then kick their asses like a true NIS agent. If her hands-on combat skills and natural talent with arms aren't inspiring enough, consider how she chooses to move forward after finding out about Dalgoon's supposed death. Only the strongest would choose to conspire revenge, rather than let the sorrow consume her. For Bae Suzy, Go Hei-ri is a step forward in her acting career, showing she is more than her stiff acting reputation, and proving that she's no longer just a pretty face. Number 4. Che Sung-hwa – Hospital Playlist As the only female in Hospital Playlist main cast of Doctors, the neurosurgeon Che Sung-hwa is a reminder that you don't need a gun to be a badass. When it comes to Sung-hwa's ability, there should be no questions asked. A neurosurgeon at a prestigious center makes her more than a capable figure. Perhaps well-versed with the scorns upon female doctors and being the sole female in a group of man-childs, Song Kwa knows how to assert herself, and it was truly awesome to watch. Beware of her deadly glares and bluntness. It can cut deep as hell. In everyday context, her quick-wittedness comes in handy, even in capturing a runaway, not least expected from the top surgeon in Korea. However, for someone in her 40s, it is her balanced life that inspires others. Life in the hospital is straining enough, so Sung Kwa always sets aside some me time on her alone camping trip in the mountains for serenity. When it's time to let loose with the gang, she laxes around and enjoys every moment. Not as a neurosurgeon, but as the bassist of Mido and Falasol. A capable and even intimidating doctor on one hand, and a calm and reclusive soul with a sprinkle of silliness on the other, Song Kwa is truly a character to love and admire. Number 5. Bae Tami, Cha Hyun, and Song Ga Kyung. Search WWW. While we often enjoy a balanced dynamic between the male and female leads, it's nice to switch up for a bit, and for Search WWW, it is the female trio that is the real boss of the show. And by boss, we mean it literally, as the three women of the series, Bae Tami, Cha Hyun, and Song Ga Kyung, hold the directive position of two rivaling tech companies, Baro and Unicon. They might be different individuals, but they share one goal, to take the title number of the number one web portal. And they aren't at all afraid to pull out all their tricks. Don't be fooled by their appearances, as these women will raise their fists to those who dare to disrespect them. Male competitors might deride them as witches, but we all know when men call women that title, they are deadly afraid. Among the cutthroat competition within the tech arena, it's the trio sisterhood that shines through. They might clash with each other due to their temperaments and different personalities, but there won't be any underhanded schemings in the true villain style. And when Ga Kyung decided to drop all her baggage and join the league with the others, they make for a sight to look up to. <laughs> Search WWW will also please you with its flair of romance, with male characters who are actually precious boyfriends, not jerks like any other dramas. They do soften up our fierce female leads from time to time, and that serves to make them three all the more human. It is just impossible to talk about inspiring women without looking at this series. And that's the list. Do you agree or disagree? Of course, these aren't the only inspiring female leads out there. So why not comment down below the K-drama female leads you look up to, as well as the reason why they inspire you. And if you want more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. We'll come back soon. See ya!